Welcome to our channel. We're thrilled to have you with us today. Today, we're diving headfirst into the swirling vortex of news that is Boston and Manchester. As of September 25th, 2024, these two vibrant cities are buzzing with activity. And we're here to bring you the latest updates, stories and events that are shaping the day. It's a veritable buffet of information, ranging from the thrill of victory on the sports field to the agonizing slow motion train wreck that is American politics. Whether you're a sports enthusiast or a political junkie, there's something here for everyone. We'll also be tackling some of the more, let's say, nuanced social issues of the day, because apparently ignoring them doesn't make them magically disappear. Who knew? From community meetings to passionate protests, these issues are at the heart of our society and demand our attention. So, strap yourselves in, folks. It's going to be a wild ride through the twists and turns of today's headlines. Whether you're at home, at work, or on the go, we've got you covered. We're about to embark on a journey through the highs and lows, the triumphs and tragedies, the absolutely baffling, and the just plain weird. From heartwarming stories that restore your faith in humanity to bizarre events that leave you scratching your head, we've got it all. Frankly, it's the kind of news cycle that makes you question if reality is just a poorly written sitcom. Sometimes, the events unfolding around us are so surreal, they seem like they're straight out of a TV show. But hey, at least it's entertaining, right? Right? Whether you're laughing, crying, or just plain bewildered, we promise to keep you engaged and informed. From nail-biting sports finishes to political maneuvering that would make Machiavelli blush, we're going to dissect it all with the kind of surgical precision usually reserved for removing deeply embedded splinters. We'll break down the complexities and bring you the insights you need to understand what's really going on. Let's get started, shall we? Buckle up and join us as we navigate through today's top stories and uncover the truths behind the headlines. It's going to be an informative and exciting journey, so stay tuned. Look, I'm not a huge soccer guy. I mean, I know the basics. Kick the ball, score a goal, don't use your hands unless you're the goalie. But beyond that, my knowledge is pretty limited. I understand the offside rule roughly as well as I understand quantum physics, which is to say, not at all. It's like trying to solve a Rubik's Cube blindfolded. Seriously, it's a mystery wrapped in an enigma, wrapped in a soccer jersey. But even I can appreciate the sheer, unadulterated tension of a semi-final match. The atmosphere is electric, the stakes are sky-high, and every pass, every tackle, every shot could be the difference between glory and heartbreak. And the Atletico MG versus Fluminense game promises to be a real nail-biter. These teams have a storied rivalry, and every encounter between them is a battle for the ages. We're talking two titans of the sport, locked in a battle of wills, a clash of ideologies, a test of endurance and skill. It's like watching two master chess players, but with a lot more running and a lot less sitting. Uh, well, you get the picture. It's a big deal. The fans are on the edge of their seats, the players are giving it their all, and the tension is palpable. These fans are passionate, bordering on rabid, and the stakes couldn't be higher. They live and breathe for moments like these, and their energy is infectious. And the stakes couldn't be higher. A spot in the finals is on the line, and neither team is going to give an inch. Every player knows that this is their moment to shine, to etch their name into the annals of soccer history. A spot in the finals is on the line, and the pressure is immense. The weight of expectation from fans, coaches, and teammates can be overwhelming but it's also what drives these athletes to perform at their best, and neither team is going to give an inch. Every tackle, every pass, every shot is contested fiercely. It's a war of attrition, and only the strongest will prevail. Now I could pretend to offer some insightful analysis of the team's strategies, their strengths and weaknesses, their historical head-to-head -head record. But honestly, I'd just be making it up. I'm more of a spectator than an analyst, but honestly, I'd just be making it up. So instead, let's just appreciate the spectacle of it all. 
The beauty of soccer is that you don't need to understand every nuance to enjoy it. So instead, let's just appreciate the spectacle of it all. The roar of the crowd, the balletic grace of the players, the sheer unbridled joy of victory, and the crushing despair of defeat. It's a roller coaster of emotions, and that's what makes it so captivating. The roar of the crowd, the collective gasp when a shot goes wide, the deafening cheer when a goal is scored. It's a symphony of sound that adds to the drama unfolding on the pitch. The balletic grace of the players, their movements almost poetic in their fluidity. Every dribble, every pass, every shot is a testament to their skill and dedication. The sheer unbridled joy of victory, the ecstasy of knowing that all the hard work, all the sacrifices have paid off. It's a feeling that's hard to describe but impossible to forget. And the crushing despair of defeat. The agony of coming so close, only to fall short. It's a bitter pill to swallow, but it's also what makes the victories that much sweeter. It's the stuff of legends, really. Moments that will be talked about for years to come, that will be replayed and relived by fans and players alike. Or at least the stuff of moderately entertaining sports television. It's the kind of drama that keeps us coming back for more, game after game, season after season. And who knows, maybe I'll even learn something about the offside rule in the process. Though I wouldn't hold my breath, it's a tough nut to crack, even for seasoned fans. Though let's be honest, that's about as likely as me spontaneously developing the ability to speak fluent Klingon. So, grab your jerseys, your scarves, your vavazellas, if you're feeling particularly obnoxious, and settle in for what promises to be a truly epic showdown. Your vuvuzelas, if you're feeling particularly obnoxious, and settle in for what promises to be a truly epic showdown. It's going to be a match to remember, and you won't want to miss a second of it. And settle in for what promises to be a truly epic showdown. The excitement is palpable, the anticipation is building, and the stage is set for an unforgettable match. May the best team win, and may the rest of us just try not to get hit by a stray soccer ball. It's all part of the fun, after all. And may the rest of us just try not to get hit by a stray soccer ball. Because let's face it, that's a real possibility. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the beautiful game. Ah, the political interview. A delicate dance of carefully crafted sound bites, perfectly rehearsed talking points, and the occasional, completely unintentional gaffe that ends up dominating the news cycle for the next week. It's a spectacle that combines the art of communication with the unpredictability of live television, where every word and gesture is scrutinized by millions. And Stephanie Ruler's upcoming interview with Vice President Kamala Harris promises to be no exception. Ruler, known for her incisive questioning and no-nonsense approach, is sure to bring out some interesting insights from the Vice President. Harris, on the other hand, will be prepared with her own set of well-thought-out responses, aiming to convey her message clearly and effectively. Now, I'm not going to speculate on what exactly they'll discuss, because frankly, who knows, the political landscape is more volatile than a toddler on a sugar rush these days. One moment, the focus could be on domestic policies, and the next, it could shift to international crises or unexpected political developments. But I can guarantee you, there will be some carefully worded responses, some pointed questions, and a whole lot of reading between the lines. Every statement will be analyzed for hidden meanings, every pause will be dissected for its significance, and every gesture will be interpreted as a signal of something deeper. Will they talk about the economy? Probably. With inflation rates, job markets, and economic recovery on everyone's minds, it's almost a given that the economy will be a major topic of discussion. Harris will likely highlight the administration's efforts to boost economic growth and support struggling families. Will they talk about foreign policy? Almost certainly. With global tensions and international relations being as complex as they are, foreign policy is always a hot topic. Expect discussions on alliances, trade agreements, and perhaps even the latest geopolitical conflicts. Will they talk about the existential dread that seems to be permeating every aspect of modern life? Well, one can only hope. In a world where climate change, social justice issues, and public health crises dominate the headlines, it would be refreshing to hear some candid thoughts on these pressing matters. But whatever they discuss, you can bet it'll be analyzed, dissected, and over-interpreted by every pundit, commentator, and armchair political scientist in the country.
The post-interview analysis will be a spectacle in itself, with experts weighing in on every detail and offering their own interpretations. It's the American way, after all. We take something relatively straightforward, like a political interview, and turn it into a full-blown national obsession. The interview will be replayed, quoted and debated endlessly, becoming a part of the larger political narrative. So, tune in folks, it's sure to be something. Whether you're a political junkie or just a casual observer, this interview is bound to offer something of interest. It might provide clarity on certain issues, or it might raise more questions than it answers. Whether that something is enlightening, infuriating, or just plain baffling remains to be seen. The reactions will be as diverse as the audience itself, with some viewers finding validation in Harris's words and others feeling more skeptical than ever. But hey, at least it'll give us something to talk about, right? In the end, the true value of such interviews lies in the conversations they spark, the debates they fuel, and the engagement they generate among the public. So, grab your popcorn, settle in, and get ready for what promises to be a fascinating exchange. Chapter 10, Manchester United versus 20, Ericsson's roller coaster. So let's dive into this wild ride. Ericsson, man, he was all over the place. One moment he's orchestrating the midfield like a maestro, the next he's missing passes you'd expect from a high school player. It's like he was on a personal mission to give us all heart attacks. But hey, that's football, right? Unpredictable, thrilling, and sometimes downright maddening. Ericsson's performance was a perfect microcosm of the beautiful game, full of highs, lows, and everything in between. Well, there you have it. A whirlwind tour of the news from Boston and Manchester. We've covered everything from the thrill of athletic competition to the mind-numbing complexities of international politics. We've laughed, we've cried. Okay, maybe not cried, but we definitely grimaced a few times. And we've hopefully learned a thing or two along the way. Or maybe 